Hi, this is Arlen, CTO of Articulate. I'm really proud of Storyline 2, and I want to walk you through some of my favorite features. I'm going to start with one of the best, Motion Paths. You use Motion Paths to move things on a slide, so they're really great for animations and interactivity. Let's take a look at a Motion Path in action. Okay, so this slide is a wellness activity, and we present the learner with a choice between a healthy activity like taking a walk and a not so healthy activity like sitting down and watching TV. And then based on their choice, we animate this heart shape either up or down the ladder to illustrate the impact of their choice. So let's see how this works. If I choose to take a walk, I go, I go up the ladder. And if I choose to eat carrots, I go up the ladder again. But if I choose to drink soda instead of water, I go back down the ladder. So a motion path was used to animate this heart sh shape up and down. Let me show you how easy it is to work with motion paths like this. So here I have a simple version of that slide with just the heart shape and the health ladder on it. Now to add a motion path to the heart shape, I'm going to select it. And then here on the animations tab, I open add motion path. Now you can see there are a lot of different kinds of motion paths. We have some simple lines and arcs. We've got some shape paths here like circle, square, and triangle. And we even have some custom paths. In fact, this curve path I think is going to be perfect for uh, moving the heart up one step. So I'll select that. And then what I do is I define the arc by defining the set of points that um, shows how it should travel. And just like this. Now Storyline is going to automatically make you know, those set of points into a really smooth arc. You can see how this works. That worked great, right? Now um, let's preview this and see what we've got. So preview this slide. And there goes my heart. And it, it, it animates perfectly up one step. Let me do that again. Yeah, that's cool. Great. Okay. Um, now let's dig a little bit deeper into motion paths and see what I can do with them once I've created them. And the first thing is, is I can edit the end point of this animation just by editing this animation shape. Oops, let me grab the right thing here like this. Okay, you can see I can move this heart anywhere I want on the slide. Storyline's automatically going to recalculate that curve based on my points. It was a little too far over to the right, so I'm just going to move it back a little bit like this. Now that looks like a good you know, resting point for it. Maybe just a little bit higher like that. Okay, perfect. Now, what else I can do is here I, on, the, on the ribbon tab, I can change the speed of, or duration of that animation. I can make it faster or slower. And by default, the animation is at two seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and make that a little snappier. I'm going to back that down to one second, just a little quicker. And if I look here under path options, I can see a bunch of other options I've got. First, I can you know, completely redefine the curve if I'd like. That comes in handy. I've also got these really great animation easing options. And easing is the acceleration into and out of the animation. This is what makes your animations look really natural and organic. Now this is by default set to in and out with a speed of, of medium. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, so I'll just leave that the way it is. I could also choose to reverse the path direction. And I'm going to talk about relative start point in another video. It, it's really great. Okay, so let's take a look at it, um, this animation after I've made a couple of edits to it. And yep, it's snappier. That's faster and looks good. And I do like the end position of this. Let's take a look at this a couple more times. Boom. Yep. Boom. That looks perfect. That's great. Okay, that's how easy it is to create and use simple motion paths in Storyline. In my next video, I'm going to show you how you can trigger motion paths using this new move trigger to really take your motion paths to the next level. All right, make sure you check that out.